Hello everyone. First responders encounter trauma every day on the job. That trauma often affects them long after they clock out for the day. Reporter Meredith Hackler shows us how one training session in Brooklyn Park is helping both them and their family members overcome post-traumatic stress disorder. Meredith. Shannon, what started as a film created by a police officer's wife turned into a nonprofit organization called the Code 9 Project. Today, the national organization was in Brooklyn Park to train first responders across the Twin Cities on ways to cope with PTSD. Suicides have reached epidemic proportions. Yes. It's this is it. This is this is as real as it gets. Yeah. We speak to family members who have lost a loved one to suicide. It is horrific. It has got to change. And that is what we're committed to doing, yes. making change happen in the first responder culture. While the organization provides training for first responders, they also provide the training for family members of first responders as well. They say they provide the family with training. is It's just as important as providing the first responders, since the family is the first to see how their loved one is affected by the trauma in their career. So we start with the education of the science of you, and then we focus on um, warning signs, and then more importantly, self-care tools and resources. It's one thing to give information, it's another thing to give tools so that you can manage what's going on. Most importantly, the Code 9 Project wants to make sure the first responders and their family members are making mental health a priority. If you would like to learn more information about the Code 9 Project, you can visit our website, ccxmedia.org. Shannon.